guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my video game themed B6 Traveler's Notebook. And I'm super excited about this because this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. And that is to have one place, just like with the MCR B6TN, which if you are not familiar with this, I have a whole playlist here on my channel. I will link it, I'll also put it in the description. Please check it out. Um, but just like with the MCR B6TM, this will be one place for me to have all my video game stuff kind of in one home. And I knew when I saw this purple cover, this is from the Honey Bee Shop. Um, if you, sorry, these keychains are so loud. Um, if you have not <laughs> seen my channel before, I guess you wouldn't know, but um, all of my Traveler's Notebook covers are from the Honey Bee Shop. I just really love the Honey Bee Shop. I love the quality. I love the price point. The owner, Shan, is awesome. Like, it's just a great small business to support. But um, if you're interested in checking out the Honey Bee Shop, I do have a code in the description box that will get you 15% off your order. So just, just going to put, you know, shameless plug there. I will get points if you use that that uh, link, just so you know, just very transparent. But it will save you a little bit of coins. That's always good. But I just wanted to kind of share this with you guys today. Um, I I will admit, I feel like I've been slacking on this. I definitely, uh, I created it and I was like all gung-ho and then, and then I haven't like really used it that much. But this would give me motivation to actually get in here and start writing. So I wanted to start with the keychains and kind of the outside here. So um, you will see that I have a pin and this pin is actually like, in the cover, I did poke holes in the cover, um, but that's okay. I knew I wanted this pin here. And this pin is Super Soul Bro, so it's a Super Nintendo cartridge. Um, this is one of my favorite video game cover bands. They're amazing, you should check them out. I'll link their website in the description. Um, and then I just have some, you know, some cute little keychains here. This is a Persona 5 keychain that I got at a Japanese festival. Isn't that cute? And then I have a little GameCube keychain that I got at MAGFest. <laughs> Detroit Become Human keychain that says Connor No, and it's, oh, it's just so cute. And it's double-sided, which I love. Then we have, this is an oldie but a goodie, Last of Us Fireflies keychain. We have a Kazuma Kiru keychain from the Yakuza series, and then Goro Majima from Yakuza as well. And then here on the bottom, I made this little vinyl decal with my Cricut. It just says endure and survive, which is one of my favorite quotes from my favorite game, The Last of Us. So I thought that would be really cute to put on there. All right, now we're gonna get this thing open. So here on the inside cover, we have this really cute, like we have scalloped um, little pockets here. And then this heart shaped pocket, I just thought was adorable. And I have uh, some pictures here from Astro's Playroom, which is the uh, game that if you get a PlayStation 5, it just comes preloaded on your console. And it's it's actually an amazing little platformer and um, has a lot of great little PlayStation references. Um, this was when I found the Last of Us reference. And then here is another with, that's a clicker. <laughs> and then I have down in here, just a piece of this, um, this is a little like film strip, like a negative um, from L.A. Noir, and I got it when I got the game back in 2011. I've had these forever, and now I finally have a place to put them. Back here, I have this tucked away, so so I really kind of regret punching this, but at the time when I got this, I only had a Happy Planner, and I didn't. I needed it to be punched so I could use it. But this beautiful bookmark, this is from Life is Strange. And I just, I just think it's gorgeous. And then it's got this nice quote on the back here. I got this at MAGFest and I wish I could tell you the artist, but sadly I don't know. Um, so it is punch, which kind of sucks, but I just kind of keep it tucked away in here and I can still look at it and enjoy it. And then here we have a little Kirby clip. And then I have just some things back here. So um, we have Cosmo's uh, business card that came with, I want to say the collector's edition or steelbook edition of Yakuza Zero, I want to say. I 
I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then Majima's uh, card. And then we have the uh, Hostess Club card here from the same game. And then just a little Super Soul Brothers uh, business card. So just some cute things to kind of keep tucked away in this pocket. And then I just hold them in place with this little Kirby clip. And then we have, of course, our good boy Mario. This was like a shirt or something and it was a tag that came with the shirt. And I mean, how was I not gonna keep that? I've actually been meaning to laminate it. I just, I just haven't. I just kind of tuck him in there. So I bought this digital pattern um, from a shop and I am just completely blanking on the name of the shop right now. I will put it uh, on the screen and I'll also link to it in the description. But I just thought it was really cute and would be a nice little, you know, layering piece, little dashboard here in my traveler's notebook. So I printed that and then we have my first insert, uh, which is my journaling insert. And this is something that I really wish I had started doing like years ago, like when I started playing video games when I was a kid. Um, because obviously I have my memories and I, you know, I can remember mostly how I felt about games and things, but there's something about having it written down and there are things that you do forget over time. And just as an example, I really wish I journaled while playing The Last of Us Part Two because my feelings throughout my entire playthrough changed like dramatically and I wish I had that written down so I could look back on it. But it's okay. I decided to start now. So I have my little journaling insert and this insert is from Shine Sticker Studio. I got this at uh, Michael's. And I just put this sticker, uh, this Do Not Disturb sticker from the Adulty AF uh, honeybee shop bait box on top because I thought I just thought it was cute and then when you open it we have the journaling card from the adult TAF bait box I layered it over this negative from um, also from the LA Noir. I've had it forever and I just thought it was kind of cute as a layering piece I've just been looking for like a way to use it for literally like a decade uh, <laughs> so I'm glad I found a way to use it and then just a couple pieces of the clear bat bow washi tape from honeybee shop so just as an example here, I kind of, um, you know, I'm journaling about the game that I'm playing. So the last time I journal was January 18th. And I just kind of write, you know, what I'm playing and then write how I'm feeling about it. And I really like how it's uh, working out so far. So obviously I only have one journal entry, uh, but I definitely will be doing more. And then these are perfect. Shan, please don't ever take these out of the bait box. These little... <laughs> These little video game controller stickers are perfect um, to kind of use to signify that that's the end of that paragraph and then I can just resume here. Um, yeah, it's just, it's perfect. So I'm really excited to use this more. I need to definitely continue using it. Um, and then on the back of that insert, I just have a uh, decal from Last of Us Part Two Collector's Edition. This is a really old sticker that has been on so many different notebooks, but I've been able to salvage it. And it's, uh, it just cracks me up. It's Nathan Drake from Uncharted 4 and Drake, obviously. Uh, it just, it makes me laugh. So I had to put that on there and then just a Naughty Dog decal there and then the back of the insert. So this is the memory keeping insert. And this is also from Shine Sticker Studio. It came in the same pack with that first one. And I thought it was a really cool idea to keep track of, you know, things that I'm doing in video games, not, you know, kind of separate from journaling, but just to actually like print pictures and document like important video game related, you know, events and things in my life. Um, and it's something that I have been doing in my kind of catch all memory keeping insert in my other, like my main uh, B6 Traveler's Notebook. But I wanted to have just something totally separate to focus on video games, and I love how it's turned out so far. So you'll see here we have this, and I bought this either at the 2020 or the 2019 MAGFest, I can't remember. Um, but this is from Detroit Become Human, one of my favorite games, and this is just a perfect place to put this. And this actually, this particular print is what inspired me to do this entire notebook. Because when I saw it, like I had like a box of things that I bought, and I saw it and I... I was like, where can I put this? Like, I have this just sitting in a box. It's so it's so pretty, I wanna look at it. And then I realized like, hey, I could do a whole traveler's notebook that's video game themed. And that's kind of where the idea was born. 
Um, and then we just have another one of these as a layering piece here. And then I started with my, um, just doing you know, 2020 to 2021 memories here. And I used a piece of um, scrapbook paper from Michaels with cameras on it. And then this is a picture of me um, when my husband got me the Yakuza Remaster Collection for my birthday in March of 2020. So I thought that was a cool way to start. And then I love how this layered on top of it. And then here we have a spread I'm pretty proud of. Um, I haven't finished, you know, filling it in. But this, I really hate that I can't give credit to the artist. So I bought a print at MAGFest with this art on it. And um, I actually scanned it. And um, yeah, I scanned the art and then I just printed it on vellum, actually. Um, and I'm so sorry. I wish I knew the artist, but um, this is just, you know, I just kind of have it for my personal use here. I did buy the print and uh, the print was just too large to fit in here. So I decided to scan it and I think it's really cute, but this is just my Persona 5 spread here. Kind of, you know, documented when I finally completed the game. It took me 126 and a half hours. Um, and I'm going to go in here and write the actual date that I completed the game. Um, but yeah, I really, I'm really happy and proud of the spread. And this is the most recent uh, spread that I did. And I was going to put some stickers to kind of cover this up. I just haven't gotten around to it. But I thought it was really cool that PlayStation sent out like a year in review type thing. Kind of like Spotify Wrapped. And it just told you like the number of games that you played throughout 2020. Your top three. Um, how many days that you played games. The total hours of gameplay that you had. And then this said congratulations you got a PS5. Um, so I just thought that was really cool and something fun to document and I'm definitely, I'm going to go in here and write, you know, like a title of what this is, but I just, I thought it was cool and that's all I've done so far, but it's a start. And then on the inside back cover, we have another Detroit Become Human print and then there's the back, um, and that's Akiyama, uh, from the Yakuza series. And then we have... I just absolutely love this little pencil pouch. So it just like wraps around. So I have it just wrapping around the front cover here. And it's just, it's just cute. And I actually got like the matching pens and then there's a Sharpie S gel just randomly in there. Um, but it's just a good way for me to keep, keep my pens. And then it has a little thing here. I can put paper clips or another pen or whatever. Um, and then on the front here, it says plan my life. And this is where I'm going to track releases. So I'm just going to be perfectly honest. I've been slacking big time on this. Um, and I didn't like go in and fill in the other ones. And I've only done February and it's almost March. But <laughs> it did remind me about Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury. And then Persona 5 Strikers, um, which actually did get pushed back just a little bit. But it's still coming out. But I just, this is just an idea, just something to get me started, but I'm definitely going to go through, um, for March and April and do, you know, fill it in and make sure that I'm keeping track of game releases for games that I, you know, want to keep track of. I'm not going to put in every single game that's coming out. If it's a game that I know I'm never going to play, I'm not interested in at all, I won't write it. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of what I'm going to do. I'll probably change it up, maybe do some more decorative spreads if I have time. And then there's the back of that. And then I just have this really pretty Last of Us Part Two art of Ellie and Dina in here in this beautiful scalloped pocket here in the back. And again, I wish I could tell you the artist, but it was something I purchased at MAGFest. And that is it. And then we wrap around all these super loud and heavy keychains, but I love them. Okay, so that is my video game themed V6TN. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know in the comments, do you have any way that you track, whether it's video games or like music. I know some people have music planners, which I think is so cool. Um, I would love to do that. I just honestly, I'm having a hard time keeping up with all the, all the ones I have now. Um, but I definitely want to start tracking like the music that I'm listening to just in my journal. So I'm definitely going to gonna get on that pretty soon but let me know if you guys you know track anything like this for things that you love um I'm just really like happy with it and excited about it and 
Uh, I have some memory keeping to do still from 2020 in this that I'm just really behind, but I'm, I'm going to try to get caught up and not stress myself out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Hit the subscribe button if you have not. I just reached 180 subscribers, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway for 150 subscribers. I'm so happy um, that you know I was able to do that and give back. And I just hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, which is just bizarre to me. I just, I've never had that many followers on anything ever so it's it's just crazy so if you haven't followed me over there on instagram be sure to do that that's where i post most often um and yeah i'll definitely be doing a giveaway for 1000 followers over there i just haven't decided what to give away yet i think i might do a poll in my stories to kind of get some feedback and see what people would like um and yeah that's it so i hope you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe stay warm wear your mask and I will see you next time. Bye!